Hey guys, welcome back to my kitchen. Today we're going to make hamitashins, those better known as Haman's hats. This is in uh, today's Purim, and so we're going to make these in remembrance of Esther and Mordecai and Haman, of course. So if you're not familiar with the story, get out your Bible and read the book of Esther. And um, but let's get let's get started. So this recipe, I'll put the recipe below. So you're supposed to mix the butter until smooth and then gradually add the sugar. So I'm going to do that off camera and I'll bring you back in a minute. So the recipe calls for after you gradually add the sugar, you want to beat it for five minutes. So I've already beat this for five minutes and then we're going to add the other ingredients. So it calls for one egg. In this recipe, you can either use milk or orange juice, whichever you would like. If you want to make it non-dairy, you can use a juice. I've seen some recipes where they use lemon juice, and they also le use lemon zest. But I'm going to use milk today, so pour in three tablespoons of milk. And the vanilla. And I make my own vanilla, and I just put it in, put it in this jar. And I need a quarter teaspoon of salt. And then we'll stir in some flour. The recipe calls for two and three quarter cups of flour. But it says stir in the flour to make a soft dough. So I'm going to get the dough ready and then I'll bring you back and show you what it looks like. I've added the flour and I have a, the dough is, is soft. It says to add enough flour until the dough is soft. And then it says wrap it in plastic until, and put it in the refrigerator until it's firm. So it's probably going to be about an hour. So after this firms up, we'll divide the dough into four pieces and then we'll roll it out. And so I'll show you how we roll it out, cut it, and I'm going to be using just apple pie filling today. You can use any type of filling you'd like, preserves, chocolate, Nutella, blueberries, cherries, um, but today we're going to use apple. So. I'll put this in the refrigerator and let it get firm and then I will bring y'all back and we'll roll them out and make some Heyman's hats. Okay, it's been over an hour, a little bit over an hour that I have let my dough set in the refrigerator and it's firm. So we need to cut this in quarters. Set these aside. Flour your surface so it doesn't stick, and we're going to roll these out. I just roll them up in a ball, and then makes it easier to use a rolling pin. You just want to roll back and forth, turn it over. Then we take our cookie cutter and just cut out. I didn't get a whole lot of cookies out of that. But I'll just show you how to do it with these four. Put 
just one little piece. Don't put very much fruit because you'll lose it. And just a little bit of syrup. And then we're going to fold it. Like a little hangman's hat. Just like that. This is apple, like I said earlier, you can use whatever you want. You could put a Hershey's Kiss in there, chocolate morsels, Nutella. I'm going to put these on the cooking sheet. After I get them all done, and it says to bake at 350 for 20 minutes. So once I get them all on the pan and baked, I'll bring you back when they're done and show you what they look like. Okay, I got all of the little Heyman's hats made, filled with apples, and I'm about to put them in the oven for what did it say 20 minutes. Okay, I just pulled the Heyman's hats out of the oven and I had spread them out onto a different pan because some of them didn't fare too well in their shape like this one. This is all of them. Let's see. They're probably still a little warm. Let's see. Some of them got a little brown too. But mm. That's really good. Real buttery, very good. Like I said previously, if you don't know the story of Haman, Mordecai, and Esther, pull out your Bible and read the book of Esther, and you will see the miracle, the hidden miracles of God throughout that chapter. Thanks for watching and subscribe to my channel. Thanks.